we have both of our guests here today, Pauline and Aaron, to demonstrate mm -hmm. first and foremost, and maybe you can talk to us a little bit about the techniques to mm -hmm. execute the kicks. Let's start with the front kick. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron, let's start with you. Okay. Show us what the front kick and is, then maybe you how can to do, do it a properly. Bit of the explanation. Yeah. Um, front kick is. Okay, that was a lot higher than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can right. you walk us through it? Yes. So, what's your stance uh, right before and how high does your foot need to be to properly execute it? Right. Uh, first is to bend your knee like this, mm -hmm. then just kick and then bend again and go back to your stance, that's right. it. You know, the way you did a while ago, it felt a lot <laughs> higher and a lot more dangerous <laughs> than let's say I and mean, Amanda doing it. But what do you think? Um, yeah, it's, it, it seemed a lot smoother. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm gonna try it now. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pao. You know, Paolo mentioned earlier he had just finished yoga. You know, so I, I am assuming that he can execute this kick pretty well. Walk me through it. So, <laughs> first, okay. Bend your knee, then kick. Oh, go wow. back. <laughs> and the crack. <laughs> It's a dangerous sport, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move on to the next kick. Pauline, we'll have you demonstrate this. What is a roundhouse kick? Something we all see a lot in the movies, a lot in, uh, well, in competition as well. Can you demonstrate how to do it properly? Okay, I'll demonstrate it first and then we'll walk you through All right. So I'll pick my stick. I'm back. Okay. So a roundhouse kick usually it takes a little bit. Okay, she's stretching. This yeah, good. Yeah, she's got to stretch. She's she got preparing. Stretch for this. So it takes a little, a little bit more than steep. like a, just like a front. So what you do, the preparation for a roundhouse kick mm -hmm. is what we call a 45 degree kick, which is lower uh, body hit. Okay. So you lift your knee same way like earlier, but 45 degrees, and aim for the body. And this is a 45 degree kick. The roundhouse kick is to the head. So you're almost mm. aiming the same like direction, but to the face. Okay. <laughs> So okay. let's start with the body. Yeah, power. start with the body. 45 degree kick. So just sideways, lift it, and kick out and land. Manny, you want to try that? There you go. There you go. I wow, think I heard a, three cracks. She's a natural. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Is. So your foot. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And back. All right, Pao. Yeah. <laughs> turn. Okay. <laughs> Take turns. So you turn, and then you kick. Oh, there nice. You go. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. All well, right, yeah, all right. You know, everything popped out of place already, so it's easier to, to actually do it. All right. Okay, so we'll move on right now. Aaron, I think we have another kick for you lined up. Amanda, what do we have? The back kick. Back kick. <laughs> Maybe I can imagine step... my up. So... Well, even, it's oh. hard for you too? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. First, you have to turn. Okay. And you uh, can the target. Okay. Then bend. Then kick. Oh, like that. Honestly, I thought the back kick was just simply it was like, just a, like yeah, a kick back. back. Or like maybe you look back and you kick. <laughs> Alright, so okay, can, can you show that to us again? From your stance, turn, look to your target, then flip, then extend. <sighs> okay. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, all right. So there's a lot of movement stability there. Stability needed. Yeah, you know, for the sake of me ending the show <laughs> in one piece, we're gonna move on to the next kick right now. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Pauline, let's uh, do a drop kick. A drop kick. A drop an axe kick. An axe kick. Okay. So this, the kicks that I'm doing, it requires flexibility. Okay. So it's just like how it is. Axe kick. How how does an axe go downwards like yeah. that? Right. So you're just gonna go up and down. Yeah. <laughs> so just up, up and down in the straight line. But how we land it in sparring is if someone's gonna kick your face down. Okay. That's why it's called axe. Okay. So walk us through that one more time. So just go up and land down hard. Wow. There it is. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here stop. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stay here just for a second and slide my foot back you know where it was. I, I noticed, Pauline, you barely <laughs> bent your right leg. Yeah, so the difference, like earlier we did a front kick, right? Or even a roundhouse kick, we yep. would bend our knee first and extend out. Right. But with an axe kick, you try to, there are different variations, but the basic one is you try to keep your knee straight, go up and land down. Okay. Yeah. 
got that? Got you. Got it. Wow, you're more ready for this than I am, for sure. <laughs> very, very exciting. How about the spinning kick? Oh, he got Either of you, yeah? You got this one. You got this, uh, Aaron. Uh, this, this kick is for an advance. Okay. Uh, usually, it's okay. just sparring. And you need speed and power for this kick. So, first is form, then you turn. Bend and then kick. <laughs> That's a spinning kick. Wait, let's do okay, that. Okay, so let's slow. do that slower, slower than motion. how you did it. Okay. Yes. So first turn, then look to your target, then kick. Yeah. Okay. It's the hair. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> the hair. <sighs> All right, <laughs> let's. Let's try this. One. Let's try this one more time. All right. I'm, I'm, you got I'm this. You got this. I'm walking with you. I'm walking with you. Then turn. Then bend. Look in front to target. And kick. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. Yes. Okay. Okay. Before my knees give way. Well, my hear up actually mga kicks. I mean, obviously people think that you're just throwing mm -hmm. kicks and throwing kicks, but there's a lot of technicality na kasama dun. So how often do you guys have to practice in terms of like form, power, speed? Cuz you have also what you call, diba, my fast kick. Mm -hmm. So how fast is a fast kick? Or sige, pa demonstrate in full speed. So there's different beats and when we kick, right? There's a full beat. Pa. Right? Okay. But then when we're when we're sparring, you can't really count it. Right. It's just we're going full speed and stuff. So for example, a half beat would just be like that's, that's a half beat. Yeah, that's a, okay. like a half beat. Compared to doing like a full beat when we spar, it's just one. That's just demonstration. Okay. But when we spar, it's actually much faster than that. Like you do, sometimes you don't even see a kick. Right. So later you will be able to demonstrate on Pao. Actually, he's going to be wearing oh. some of the equipment that we have here. Some I of am? the yes, and you have to try and avoid as fast as you can. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you not see how, how I was a while ago? How stiff I okay. 